Good morning. Good. Okay, now. Good morning. It's been a while. <coughs> I've been out of action for a few days. Still ill. Look, been on this stuff for the last five days. Bit of man flu. The six and seven day weeks of working caught up on me. Been out of action for for the past five days. But I'm feeling a little bit better. It's Monday, start of the week. Might as well just get on with it now. Don't know really what significance happened since I last checked in. McGregor's been stripped of his title, featherweight title, gone, complete bullshit. Gunners won a free one last night. Went to Ikea this weekend to get just get out of the house. The, the flat is now kitted out completely. So come December nineteenth, got a flat pack, the shite out of the house, and then we are ready. It is currently eight o'clock. Time for some breakfast today. We're going to be going through my training steroid regime and a day in the diet. I haven't been. I haven't done a video recently for a long time. We've just shown you what I'm eating for the day. What am I talking about? The biggest thing that happened last week was Casey Neistat stopped daily vlogging. Stopped daily vlogging. My hero, inspiration, idol finished. I did shed a tear along with my friend Ryan Kelly. Time for breakfast. Breakfast is served, we have 150 grams of on-cast strawberry yoghurt with 50 grams of oats. Don't know if anyone else is on my flex, but I, I just get really bored of eating oats, so I just tend to blend them. One bagel with 30 grams of peanut butter. I've got some fish oils and some vitamin C, just some water. Not a huge fan of like antioxidants like vitamin C. Brad Schoenfeld did a very good uh, piece on why it's not really needed, but as I'm a bit under the weather, vitamin C is, is quite good. I also had a banana blended up in that smoothie concoction. Calories are here. I usually, I work quite short Mondays, so I don't have a meal during my shift. I just have a snack. So something like a hoisin duck wrap, medium, medium fat, medium protein, quite high carbohydrate. This is easy on the go to have, takes a couple of seconds to eat. Another thing that I tend to eat is about this. So between the 300 to 400 calorie mark is like the grenade carb killer bars, which are very good. Time for work. There is a house coming up on the left that every year puts out the best Christmas that, yep. Oh, it's up. They put out the best Christmas that, see that? Man, I'm a, I, love, I love Christmas. Massive, massive Christmas fan. I, there's no other time of the year I enjoy it, other than the December Christmas period, very festive. I go to Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park at least three times. The one pet peeve I have though regarding the Christmas period is celebrating it too early. I've seen Christmas trees in houses already. Nope. Not good. Anyway, I shall, I shall see you after work for checking in. See you after work. Elle forgot her keys this morning, so I gave her my keys, but then, now she's... Oh. Under the plant pot. Meal number two, we have one base of fillet with 300 grams of... 5% oven chips, very good low fat, high carbohydrate sauce, and some peas, and a Coke Zero. And then I'm gonna be, I'm putting, to, I'm doing the Psalms video, I'm just putting together some research. As you know, I like covering topics with a little bit of scientific backing. What a touch. Finally, some Casey Neistat material for the day. What a great Monday. <laughs> this is, this is a good Monday. Delivery. These are extreme, they're from a lab called Extreme Labs. They are 50 milligram Dynabol pills. There's 50 meg in one of them. And apparently they are extremely good pre-workout. So he gave me a, a sample. See, other YouTubers in the fitness industry may unbox t-shirt samples or protein samples. We do Dynabol samples. I've got some Sphinx Pharma Dynabol. I should have 
a vial of Sustanon and three vials of Test E. This lab is from Androgen. This is a lab called Androgen. I'll set this all up and we'll go through it properly. I was going to go through it later in the video, but it's here now. So, so from weeks one to four, we're going to be doing 500 milligrams of Sustanon per week, two 250 milligram injections. Then we're going to be chucking in 20 milligrams of Dynabol pre-workout for four weeks. We are then going to move from week five to nine, going to be doing 500 milligrams of Test E per week, two 250 milligram injections. And then I'm going to go at my highest dosage I've ever done of Test E, 750 milligrams, and chuck that in from weeks 10 to 12. So it's quite a relatively sort of small cycle with regard to compound usage. I, I as I think as well as my audience, know that I don't really have the best synex for bodybuilding anyway. But I'm going to try and get as far or as big as possible really on just a normal or a normal sort of dosage scheme really for steroids. So I'll see how I get on. 20 meg Dynabol pre-workout, I'm going to go and train arms. I'm not going to be filming it because I just want to get in there and, and train. I haven't trained in about five days. Also, just going to weigh out my intra-workout carbohydrates. 50 grams of SIS Go Energy Lemon Flavor. And we're good to go. Back from the gym, past... Back from the gym now? Back from the gym, the pasta is on the go. We're having prawns, pasta, and two slices of low-fat garlic bread. <coughs> Excuse me. While that is cooking, I'm just going to briefly go through what my training regime is going to look like. It should be on the screen. I'm going to be targeting my weakest body parts twice a week, and the what? I mean, my back, shoulders, and chest aren't extremely strong. However, they're the lagging ones. So we're going to be hitting Monday, arms, Tuesday, legs. Wednesday, sort of upper body, Thursday off, arms, legs, Sunday off. Nice and simple. Compounds at the start, compounds predominantly for the upper body session, higher volume at the end of the week. So the wife then, yes. I, I've been absolutely hammering this song at the moment. Shut up. I've been getting money, where the fuck you been? I've been getting money, where the fuck you been? Third, four, fourth meal of the day is 200 grams of pasta, pesto, 100 grams of prawns, two slices of garlic bread. I'm going to end the vlog here because I want to edit and upload tonight, which is Monday, because I haven't put any content out in a few days. So, I'm going to be finishing the night with one scoop of serious mass and some cereal and fruit, because I like having carbohydrates before bed, because the body relies on glycogen not casein as it is marketed so once we put this this is running low at the moment there's a deal on at metrics at my shop and true mass is on offer so i'm going to switch it up to true mass because it's very good tasting and i love it and i love bsn my calories for the day will be on the screen i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon for the psalms video